What's up, heroes? My name is Cyloclone, and welcome back to Ace Academy. Let's see what adventures awaits after our battle with Ona Bugesha in yesterday's exams. Now, this alarm ringtone is pretty great, or this alarm tone. I should probably try to download this audio file and use it as my ringtone. I'll wake up, up, feel pumped for the day. But I turn off my alarm clock and stretch and let out a loud groan. Ugh. Yesterday was a really intense day. And I'm certainly feeling it now. At least it's Friday. With a regretful sigh, I roll out of bed and prepare for my classes. You know, that's the worst. Knowing it's Friday, you gotta get through one more big day before it's the weekend. I grab a quick breakfast and drive to school. Yuna is waiting for me in class and smiles broadly when I sit down next to her. Well, who else am I gonna sit down next to? Hi, Yuna. I haven't had a chance to catch up. How did your meeting go with Yuri? It wasn't bad as I as bad as I anticipated, even though he asked a lot of questions. About Eagle? Yes. No, actually, he was interested in my team back at CINY. She blinks in genuine surprise. Well, at least I'm not the only one who thought he was wanting to meet about Eagle. Oh, I was under the impression he was curious about Eagle. Me too. It's okay. I didn't mind. Clearly, he did his homework about how teams will run in the States because he didn't seem surprised by anything I shared. Yuna nods. There's a reason why he's the youngest account manager to manage a team at Dashu. Because he's freaking good at his job? Have you talked with him yet? Yes. About what? He said that you show a lot of promise. And he's confident that if the rest of your teammates are as determined as you are, then you'll definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Hell yeah, we're going to as long as Kauri keeps her temper in gear. That's it? She furrows her brow in concern. Yeah. Should he have said anything else? Uh, well, maybe not. You know, the thing he talked with us about Yuri uh, is, is something he said you should ask Yuna about. So it's not surprising that he wouldn't have said anything. I guess he was serious when he said I should talk to her about her brother. Well, yeah, he's serious. There's a reason he's the youngest member at Dash to manage a team. Actually, maybe now isn't the right time to bring up this conversation. You don't say. Let's let's talk about it later, because it's... Well, it might be time to ask, and we're all curious now that he's mentioned it. Class is about to start any, any second now, so we'll, we'll talk about it later. Now's not the time. Bombarding her right now before class begins doesn't seem like a very smart doesn't seem like very smart timing. The professor will get here and start class before we really have a chance to talk, and Yuna will probably spend all of class stressing out about this. D just checking, yeah. How he's clearly into me. No, nope, just checking just to see if he mentioned anything else that he might not have said to us. We had a good conversation, so I was just wondering if you had any other thoughts. Oh, no. But I'm glad to hear you enjoyed the conversation, too. I'm looking forward to the next one. He seems like he'll be easy to work with. Yuna nods. He is. Good. I glance at her and nod. The professor enters the room and gets started. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Please professor. To page 81. Straight to the point. Let's get going. Let's get this class over and done with. And just Your like that, we're done. On the web link. Have a great day. You too. I think, I'm pretty sure with how classes have been going here at Ace, we're done for the day. Yuna and I pack up our things and walk out of class together. That's adorable. Mayu, please don't be watching, I promise. Do you have another class to go to? No, but I have to meet my physiotherapy professor. I'm a TA for his class. You know, that's really not that surprising that you're a TA. I didn't know you were a TA, but apparently your character's an idiot and just doesn't know things. Yep, I don't usually help out in his Friday classes, but he's holding exams today, so I need to be there. Makes sense. Do you have any other classes? Uh, no. No, but I'm kind of hungry. I'll grab lunch in the pilot's lounge. Her face lights up. Oh, you're lucky. They're supposed to have really good food. Well, why don't you come with me sometime? You can try it out. I've heard that too, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I wish I could try it too, but it's hard for me to get into the pilot's lounge. 
You will have to try for the both of us. Well, there will be a day in the future where I can take you into the pilot's lounge and you can try it for yourself. Will do. Yuna checks the time. Oops, I'm going to be late. I'll see you later. I'm sure she's running. Bye. A wave as she dashes off. Bye, Yuna. We'll talk soon. Alone, I make my way to the pilot's lounge. I check out the menu on display in the lounge. There's the usual Japanese fare that I can find in the dining hall, too. Today's special is Napolitan spaghetti, popularly, lo popper, popularly known as ketchup spaghetti. Intriguing. The bartender approaches me and waits expectantly. Hmm. Well, first I'll have a beer and order the spaghetti. Choose something safe. I think I lost my appetite. You know what? If it's the special, why not give it a try? It's got to be good. It's the pilot's lounge. When in Rome, or I guess in this case, when in Japan. One Napolitan spaghetti, please. The bartender nods. He brings me my order and I take it to an empty table. As soon as I sit down, someone slides into the seat across from me. I'm ready to apologize and ask if this table was taken when I take a good look at the girl smiling at me. May. Is this seat taken? Not any... Well, now it is by you. Oh, uh, no. You can sit here. Thanks. This is a little uncomfortable after what happened yesterday. I think she feels it too. So, um... How's Kauri? That's a very good question. She'll be okay. May not. I thought so. She usually is. I haven't seen her that upset since... Since... She hesitates. Since Ryota? May blinks, but seems relieved. Oh, Kauri told you about Ryota? Well, not exactly. A kind of, sort of. Not about to tell her I was listening in on her conversation a few days ago. Did she say it was all my fault? I mean, it's Kauri, so it was kind of implied, I guess. It was certainly implied. May sighs. Uh, I wish I'd never said anything. You know, sometimes things happen. I blink. May doesn't strike me as someone who has many regrets. She's always cheerful and seems to take whatever life throws at her in stride. I believe that you meant well. Thanks. If only Kauri could see that. I wasn't trying to ruin her friendship with Ryota. Or my friendship with her. I, I'm sure you weren't. They would have been so cute together. Ooh. You know, if Ryota hadn't been such a jerk. And how awesome would it have been if my two friends ended up together? So we were right in assuming there was a romantic link here, especially with Ryota. Interesting. Sounds like you were excited for her. I was. Even back then, Kauri was more reserved around people. She didn't like to show her feelings. So I was so excited when she told me she liked Ryota. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. Kauri was more reserved. Be better yet, better question. Kauri has feelings? Granted, I, I guess I should take that back. She did kind of cry last time. If he was such a jerk, why were you friends with him? He wasn't always like that. Sure. Honestly, I don't know why he exploded the way he did. We used to do everything together. His family even took us on their vacations. Wow, it sounds like you were really close. I knew him back in elementary school when he still had huge glasses and would tell goofy jokes that were too smart to be funny. Kids used to pick on him a lot. So we entered middle school and he worked hard to change his image. Well, those are those are some tough years for, for kids. He lost the glasses and became more serious. The more I think about it, the more I think he stuck with us out of obligation rather than true feeling. We were his only friends for a long time. Until he hit his growth spurt. Then all the girls were suddenly interested. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what you're telling me here is I need to get more serious and just lose the glasses and the ladies are going to be interested? Well, I've already hit my growth spurt, so I'm one-third of the way there. May looks thoughtful. 
Actually, I think it was when the other girls started to notice him that Kaori liked him too. Okay. Do you still keep in touch with him? Of course not. Sorry I asked, jeez. She hits the table for emphasis. I told him all that stuff in confidence, thinking maybe it would give him a push to make a move. So you're trying to be a good friend? Well, he made a move, all right. He went out of his way to hurt Calorie. What kind of friend is that? That's not a person I want to associate with. She does, she's gotten really intense. I think this is the first time we've seen her kind of upset since we've met her. It's just frustrating that Calorie would lump me into the same category as him. Understandable. That sounds like her. This explains so much. Why even bother? Well, that does sound like Kaori to kind of group people together. If she told you a secret, you told him. I, I, I get it. Sounds like her. I can see that. May raises an eyebrow. Don't tell me you agree with her. No, I certainly don't. No, no, you don't sound anything like Ryota. I meant I can definitely see Kaori jumping to conclusions. Good save, dude. She's just so stubborn, too. She wouldn't even listen to me when I tried to explain. That does sound like Kaori. Then why do you keep trying? May looks at me as if I've sprouted a third arm, as most people do. She's my friend. Touche. I left her alone for a while so she could cool off. And I admit, I was angry at her for a long time, too. I saw her withdraw completely. Withdraw completely? No one should be alone. Very true. You're such a concerned and good friend. I know she hasn't forgiven me yet, but she will. In time. How can you be so sure? It might take her a little longer, but in the end, Kauri always sees reason. Fair enough. May is completely confident that Kauri will forgive her. That must be how she can still act so familiarly with her even though Kaori doesn't reciprocate those feelings. I have to admit, I kind of admire Mei for that. Anyway, since I really didn't get the chance to say it yesterday, congrats on your win. Oh, the win, that's right, we, we, we fought yesterday. I blink. Oh, thanks. But don't get used to it. Ana Bugeisha has a lot of practicing to do. It won't be that easy the next time we battle. Hold on, you call that an easy battle? We won and we had to fight through Kaori's stubbornness. That was the difficult part of everything. You call that easy, you're still going to lose. This was a good fight. Well, it really wasn't that easy. They did put up a very good fight. So it wasn't it wasn't that easy of a battle. I wouldn't say that was easy. Your team put up a good fight. They grins. I know. Yeah, of course you do. From the corner of my eye, I spot Kaori and Sho enter the pilot's lounge. Sho's still alive and in one piece! They must have worked things out with each other. That's a relief. Kaori searches the room and briefly makes eye contact with me before glancing away. Of course, can't meet my gaze. Then, to my surprise, she walks over to us. Sho follows. Hey, Brosif! There you are. May is just as surprised when Kaori and Sho sit with us. What's going on, Brosif? Not too much, dude. You gotta have some of this spaghetti, ketchup spaghetti, man. Not much. Where's my... Class. Lame. I look over at Kauri. Hey, Kauri. Hi. Yep. Pleasant as always. She looks sideways at May. Hi, May. She, she made the first move. And May doesn't react right away. She's just as surprised as we are. Then squeals in delight and throws her arms around Kauri. Hi! Oh, my word. Uh, May! Stop it! Yeah, okay. Kauri pulls away in a huff while May laughs. Glad to see they're all, they're all feeling better. The four of us continue to chat together. The tensions felt from yesterday are completely gone and is as if the day never happened. I even got Kauri to laugh. Eventually, we all go our separate ways as everyone heads to their class or other obligations. I still have some free time. And we're going to take advantage of that free time in the next episode. I'm going to end it here, keep these a little short for you.
It's great to see that now the team is getting back together and morale's back together, team unity's back together. Granted, we haven't seen Kaori interact with Mayu since everything, but I'm sure we will soon. But it's good to see that she's feeling better and is at least tolerating show and hasn't killed them yet. And more surprising, said hello to Mei first rather than Mei saying hello back. So that's going to be interesting to see how that progresses and to see how... We can find out more about the story as time goes on as well. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button down below or leave a comment. If you are new to the channel, unleash your power by hitting the subscribe button today as well. And I will see you heroes in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great rest of your day. Take care.